Hello everybody, welcome back to Wilson Club Gaming. I'm Trent. I'm Captain Pirate Man. I'm Jimmy. And today, we're starting up some Super Mario Galaxy, which John's taking over for. Yep. John finally gets to play the game. Yeah, finally. Alright. So John, whenever you're ready, we'll start this grand adventure up. Alrighty. Um, I recently I recently bought myself a Wii. Wait. <laughs> you press the... Uh, that button, and then it centers it? Yeah. Oh, oh there we oh, go. Oh, okay. Wait, which one's that? Okay, it's this one. Alright. Yeah. I, um... I started, I, I recently bought a Wii, so I could go back and play some classic Wii games. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the first titles I picked up for it. Now, fortunately, there's no Wii interactivity, so you can't get, like, the Mii as, like, an icon on here, which is unfortunate, but yeah. it's whatever. Alright. Mario. <clears throat> so this is the game that you're most, the, you're the most familiar with, basically. Right. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year... That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we, we don't there he goes. To, we don't have to read the entire thing. Just, basically, this, this big old celebration that happens every year. Yeah, or a hundred years, I should say. Which, if it happens every hundred years, Galaxy 2 really has some timeline issues if that's the case. <laughs> that means Mario must be a hundred years old when they celebrate the next... No, he just used up like so many one-ups. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, video game characters never die. No one cares, Peach. Yeah. <laughs> I baked a cake for you. I baked a cake for you. Oh, look at him go. Yeah. He's like, yay, her cakes are the best. <laughs> I'm in the friend zone. Okay. Poor guy. Yeah. Alright. He's done, bud. So it's a little weird for you to kind of get into it, or is it like, it's not bad? No, it's not bad. It was just like, I had to, it was twitching a bit, so. Because I remember when they said that they were going to bring Galaxy to the Switch. I'm like, there's not really, there's not really a, mo a motion control thing for the switch, so it's gonna be weird, kind of integrating like that. But it's like it's working. Yeah, I don't like line it up correctly because you're just sitting there twitching a bit. If it gets misaligned, you just press the button again, and then it goes back. Okay. Yeah, I don't have to. Whoa! Do. This game took a turn for the worst. <laughs> everything's so happy. Everything's like happy and joyous, and atmospherical. And it's like. Bum bum bum. You gotta admit, this theme song's kinda sick, though. Oh yeah, this is like, one of the best Bowser themes. That and Mario World, or Bowser World. Oh yeah. Why don't they just take Peach? They don't have to take the castle. Well, so dramatic. Cause he's... Well, I don't know. Cause he's kidnapped Peach before Mario still stops him. He's locked Peach inside the castle, and Mario stopped him. So he figured, why not just keep, take the entire castle with me? Yeah. And then, a li a no and then uh, Mario Brothers U, he's like, how about I kick Mario out of the castle and, you know, actually turn the castle into a Bowser's fortress? Basically, his plan kind of escalates in stupidity. <laughs> Just really, really ridiculous. Man, that bridge is not going to be good for much. That UFO looks like it has udders. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, <laughs> it looks a little sus. Yeah. It looks sus. <laughs> yeah, going to like the Mario casting. I think I said this last episode too. I uh, I do see like Charles Day as Luigi, and then Charles uh, Day. What is it? Charlie Day. Charlie Day. It sounded weird when you said that. Oh, then Charlie Day. My bad. There you go. As Luigi, and then yeah, you, yeah, you're bad. You inept piece of. <laughs> Sorry, that was. You're in hitting distance, just. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, you're in the middle, so like you can hit either one of us if we say something salty. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so that was me. Oh, whoa, it's a star. Uh, correct term is Luma. Or a Chico in uh, Japan. Chico? Yeah, Rosetta Ch and Chico. Hey, Chico! <laughs> Say hello to the bad guy! Wait, how do I capture you again? What? How do I? You're supposed to get the bunny, I forget how. You just run up to them and catch them. Oh. But first you're gonna play hide and seek. <clears throat> if you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. We're well, basically holding you hostage. <laughs> 
I will say this game gets like made me really interested in space when I was you know first yeah. playing it as a kid. It just makes space just so fun. Oh, that's right, you can shoot it. There's a sort of relaxing vibe that comes from playing this game. Yeah. I, this is like one of the grander scale Mario adventures. I think it was the first time they did like an orchestral uh, score for any Mario game. Yeah. And it sounds really, really good. Yeah. I think that's what, it was so good, in fact, that like, the crater. It's so good, in fact, that's why... You know, they've done big band renditions of, like, older Mario stuff, and it sounds just as good. Like, the big the big band re rendition of, uh, Bomb Bomb Battlefield, it's amazing. You go in first person in this game, can't you? Yeah. Uh, uh press the right stick. Yeah, if you hold up, press the... Oh, Alright, just whatever. I guess Yeah, it's... okay. Alright, I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Well, you did, obviously, because you asked. But, no, I mean... <laughs> it's not that important, though. Oh, come on! <laughs> there we go. The coin. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's totally worth it. Yes, it was. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. White-tailed jerk. You know, they don't really explain how they can turn into bunnies, and they don't really bring it up in future games. Magic. Well, I, they they can transform in a lot of things, like the the warp stars and stuff. Mm. Yeah, they turn into a whole planet. Yeah, <laughs> a yeah, whole yeah, galaxy. You're right. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, think. I just feel like there's a lot of catching bunnies in these games. Especially, like, 64 is all... Like, there's a lot of missions where you catch bunnies and stuff. There's a galaxy a lot later in the game where you have to, like, catch three bunnies on, like, a time limit. It was yeah, oh brutal. my gosh. Yeah, that game, that one is so difficult. Get, get... It's like they move slightly faster than you. Yeah, never mind. They, like, get faster when the closer they can get to them. <laughs> wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. I just think of Johnny Her Bravo. name is Mama Mia. So, but you really can't help Mama. <laughs> we did, yeah. Johnny hey, Bravo. Rosetta. Mama. Do the monkey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like one of my favorite cartoon characters. Here you go, Space Waifu. <laughs> <laughs> That's like her unofficial nickname, you know, Space Waifu. I like how she's really only in like one mainline game, and then now she's like in everything, yeah. like all the spin-off games. It's weird because the first this, she's like this is her first game. She has the, kind of a small role, and yet she's probably the most fleshed out character in the entire Mario universe. Yep. She gets like a backstory and everything. And I'm like, okay, guys. And then the rest of them don't even really get a backstory at all. Yeah, I'm waiting for like what well, they always have like their one personality trait. So it's like, you know, Mario's like the generic bad, uh, good guy. Luigi's like scared all the time. Yeah, but they never get like backstories or like how they came to this world or anything like that. It's like they're obviously human. Yeah. How is a planet surviving when its core is a black hole? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Yeah, I kind of want the answer to it. You think, you think uh, Mario dying. A horrible death, like drowning is. Like, imagine just getting sucked in by a black hole. <laughs> That's pretty brutal, too. Yeah, then he's just falling in perpetuality for like forever. Would you mind if I brought. <clears throat> Would you mind if I ever brought my cousin Levi to maybe do a little thing with us? Sometime. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I should uh, amend a statement. In a previous Let's Play, I said he was in third grade. That's a little younger than I was uh, told. He's in seventh grade. <laughs> okay. I'm, just, I'm, just slightly. I'm, off. Yeah, only a little. <laughs> well, it's because he's my cousin. He's like my little cousin. I've always seen him as like a, a little, you know, young, like young, you know. Yeah. So it's like, I, just, I don't know. It's like now that I'm an adult, it's like hard to kind of keep track of like things and stuff. I can't tell you how old my sisters are. <laughs> if I tried. I'm hard at guessing ages, too. Yeah. When it's like you're guessing the age of another adult, it's easier, but a kid, I, they all kind of look the same, you know? Yeah, they're all little baby faces. <laughs> the, the crystal? Yeah. Uh, the pink, like, pink one? Yeah. I think if you spin it, it stuns everybody in the area. So it oh. creates, like, a shock wave. But, uh... 
Yeah, so, yeah, Low Poly Levi. He's seventh grade. And I recently... I recently helped him pitch in for a pro membership to Filmora so you can start... So you can make his videos without the, the huge Filmora watermark that comes with it. So, now they look even better. I'm a little jealous, because his videos look better than mine. So. Yeah, I saw his new video, and it was like a huge improvement over the last one. Yeah. It also took him a lot of effort to do. He does, he does a lot of good work, I'm, I'm proud of him. Yeah, I definitely have a lot of respect for, like, kids who, you know, have enough talent to, like, oh. actually make their own videos and stuff. And it actually ends up looking pretty good and stuff. Yeah. I'm, you know, it's like, I love, I, I like it when people want to kind of get into, you know, analysis videos, like how we kind of do over on our main channel. Because, like, I feel like it's a genre that's going to die out after a while, you know? A lot of people are just kind of into vlogs and let's plays. Nothing wrong with that, but like, I grew up in the era where I, I really enjoy YouTubers who are kind of like review, like the classic movie reviews or games right, and stuff. Yeah, well, that's, that's always like, fun to watch. Yeah, that's like the same thing with me. Like game theory, I was really into FNAF back then, so yeah. that's like the only guy that actually like really explained FNAF really well. Yeah. So either that or Scott Cawthon just watched the videos. Is like, okay, yeah, that's canon. Yeah. I do want to do Drake of the 99 Dragons. Maybe we'll have to pull... I was thinking about bringing my Xbox and, you know, Drake of the 99 Dragons. So, but, uh, I'm like, I want to have fun today. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I've seen footage of that game, and... Pro Jared did a really good review on that game. Oops. There we go. First grand start. Yep. yep. Apparently, hitting all the buttons uh, changed it from bronze to gold. We found a machine that can do that. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're not gonna talk John, about we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die. I'm like, you, <laughs> you died on the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay. We've all we've all had those moments. Yeah. I mean, some some more than others. Yep. I don't. <laughs> I like how the observatory, like, it'll light up after each grand star you get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, right now it's all dark, and then, like, it just gets lighter and lighter over time. Yeah. Like, it's nice progress throughout the game. Mm -hmm. I think the observatory, it's one of my favorite hub worlds. In a yeah, it's game. a pretty nice hub world, because it's based, it's, like, really easy to navigate to. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing will ever beat, uh... Delfino Plaza, but this is definitely up yeah. there. Well, there's a difference. Even though I like Delfino Plaza, I can stand the Loomis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually nice. They're nice, nice to me. Nice people. I don't feel like talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the, you, and I don't want to know you. The beacon you. is lit again. That one always looked like a chocolate. Yeah. Like little, <laughs> little Hershey's kiss yeah. or something. Eat me, I'm delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever seen Rosalina's other eye? Or she always had that, like, the hair covering the other one? She's always had that. It'd be kind of cursed if you saw it. It's like, it's like... Oh, well, maybe, I think in Mario Kart she has in a ponytail, so... I, for the bike, bike, bike outfit. I think she still has the one strand covering her eye, though. I don't yeah. know, could be wrong. I mean, but, coming from, like, a gaming, or, like, developing standpoint... There's most likely another eye under there because it's just kind of useless. Well, unless it's like you lift up her model, and it's like ah, <laughs> just no eye. It's like seeing her with two eyes would be cursed. It's like seeing Mario without a mustache. Yeah. Or Sonic without shoes or something. I don't know. <laughs> no oh, uh, just uh, the old trailer for uh, the Sonic movie, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, basically. Wait, or you didn't have gloves and it looked like a Let's weird see, we could... Oh, Muppet. nope, she's not gonna... I was gonna say, we could see right now, but no. Okay, I don't care. Just let me go to the galaxy. I like how he's already in here. Immediately. Oh my gosh, he's dead! <laughs> he's transformed! 
something I don't enjoy about this game is the fact that it's very over tutorialized. Yeah. They explain a lot of things. That's well, one thing I wish they kind of got rid of from Sunshine to this game. Was you know, maybe hold off on explaining things so much. Let us, the player, explore something. Yeah, I noticed that with Mario 64, where it's, it's it doesn't really tell you what to do. It's just like here you go, figure it out. Yeah, but that that can be a problem sometimes. But it's like most of the time, it's like you can figure it out. You know. Yeah, I mean, unless it's, it's a very vague me mission description. Yeah. I think the bee, bee galaxy. Honey Hive Galaxy? Yeah, Honey Hive and then the Haunted Mansion one. Yeah, those are like two of your favorites? Yeah, those are my two favorite galaxies. Those, those are good choices, yeah. Gosh, I, I, I just know like the my, my I like the music from uh, Honey Hive. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites ga with the galaxies is uh, the little micro, the little mini planet that you get where it's like um, the sweet something where it's like it's like an obstacle oh, yeah, 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 going yeah, over yeah. all the ice cream and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That one's fun. Yeah, that's one of the green stars. That's like the uh, the toy galaxy, toy time galaxy. Oh. Yeah, toy but time. Even though, you have to use the, even though you have to use the spring, which I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I think my the one I hate kind of like the most is like that one where you have to like ice skate versus Shadow Mario. Oh, yeah, that one. I think that might be what's it called? Chili hot. Hot chili. It's, it's like, like hot and cold planet, yeah. Yeah, the hot Oh, Freeze planet. Flame? Freeze Flame, that's what it is. That might be my favorite. That one is pretty fun. It also does have the, the weird textures we were talking about in, like, another episode of something. I can't remember which game we were playing. It's either, it's either Freeze Flame or Gusty Garden for me, because Gusty Garden's soundtrack is just so phenomenal. That is good, yes. Uh, what was it? This whole game soundtrack is just phenomenal, though. Honestly, yes. I do love the orchestra. The orchestra. I mean, if, if you let me, I would just gush about the soundtrack the whole the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's been an entire video. It's, like, it's my review of the soundtrack for Super Mario Galaxy. Here's yeah. Um, whoops. As a kid, I was like... I always imagined they t these uh, wrecking balls taste phenomenal. Gosh. Yeah, it's like they're like cocoa like puff stuff yeah. with yeah raspberry jam or something like a cherry. Yeah, stuff. I like how we just keep comparing all these things to food. Yeah, the the, the paint, the, the paint, the rocks, the paint was like ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Nintendo, you're losing money, man. You gotta start making food based off the games. People That's what it. they do at because uh, um, they have that place in Japan. Oh yeah, but I. I, I hope it opens up in America soon, because I'd be willing to go. I doubt they're going to have it. I don't think they're planning to have it in America, do they? Why did they, why did they do that? Why would they give one part of the world something awesome? And then... Because this is... Because <laughs> the creator's from Japan? I mean, yeah. But, it, oh, what what, hurt, what hit you there? I didn't see you get Yeah, that was, like, a little far away there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Questionable hitbox. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Also, credit, kudos to this game for doing anti-gravity segments that don't make me um, get confused or sick to my head. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't get dizzy doing the, the anti-gravity stuff. Yeah, no one works Whenever I come to an anti-gravity segment in, an, in any other game... No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sean. It wouldn't let me up on the platform. Just... Oh. You didn't have to kill him. <laughs> no, everything must die in this <laughs> world. Oh, All these things. Yeah, they're like... They're, they're pretty f creepy. Yeah. They're like leeches. They suck the life out of you. Those guys remind they me remind of... They remind me of my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Those guys remind me of those uh, um, flying guys in Mario Sunshine where they like try to steal your hat and then you'd like slowly die over time. Yeah. You can lose your hat in any other Mario game. But Sunshine, because the, the sun is... I, I assume it's because of the sun. Because it's so bright, you get sunburned really quickly, so you just slowly die if you don't have your hat. Which I'm like... Which is weird, because, like, he has a full head of hair, so he should be fine. Yeah, and it's like... I didn't... They should... Oh, whoa, that was just a whole lot of... Uh, if they had gone the same route as 64, it's like... Yeah, you could be fine without your hat, but you'll take a lot more damage, and you just won't feel like Mario, because you won't have the hat. Uh, but no, it's like... No, you need the hat, or else Mario dies. Yeah. Just another uh, classic case of Nintendo logic. Yeah. It's like how, you know, you can't... Even when something's standing still, you can't touch it because it'll kill you.
touching enemies is bad. Apparently they had coated themselves in, like, poison before they started this adventure. Apparently. Unless you jump on them, then it's fine. Or spin on them. You don't have to get everything, Jeff. I'm sorry, I keep criticizing the way you're playing the game. It's like, <laughs> I don't think there's a 100% thing. Oh, no, wait, you get to play as Luigi in the 100% game, right? Uh, no. I no? don't believe so. Oh. No, you unlock him, and then you can, like, do another playthrough, like, as him the whole time. Oh, I and then it's, it's funny, because, like, later in the game, you have to, like, save Luigi, yeah. and it doesn't change if you're actually playing as Luigi, so you're just saving yourself. And Luigi's like, I guess there are other Luigis in the multiverse, and I'm like, the multiverse is real. The multiverse of, uh, oh, I Luigi I madness. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, he, it's Luigi saying it, it's like, Super Luigi multiverse of madness. <laughs> Mario. Mario. That'd be a fun game to play in Luigi's Mansion. I don't. I don't have a copy of Luigi's Mansion. I don't either. I, it's so hard to find like a cheap copy of, of the uh, the original these days. Because the generation that grew up with GameCube, they're starting to you know go back and collect those games. So now they're kind of increasing in price. Yeah. Um. GameCube got hit the hardest. Like that and Super Nintendo is like they're rough to find. It's yeah. like. You can find, like, PS2 games and, like, original Xbox games, and GameCube, no. <laughs> and even, like, third-party games on GameCube are, like, more expensive, just because yeah. it's on GameCube. Well, I consider the GameCube be probably the last classic console, because the controller wasn't optimized to play first-person shooters. Yeah. It was kind of more for platforms and, like, wacky games, kind of. Yeah, it definitely is, like, a really very interesting controller. It's yeah. one of my favorites. It's, like, very comfortable to use. It's such a interesting part of history for me. Yeah. Ugh. You can tell he's dead because he's got his tongue sticking out. Like, <laughs> then the GameCube just has, like, such a, such a ton of weird experimental games, like, yeah. like the, the, it's a Mario game, but it, you have to clean pollution. You know, yeah. like, it's so weird, you know? Mm -hmm. It had a Game Boy adapter, which... Uh, I didn't know you needed a startup disc for it, so I just got the uh, the separate attachment, and I realized I ha it didn't come with a disc. So mm, I was, yeah. I've been kind of screwed since because they can't they don't just sell the disc separately. So it's kind of yeah, the disc is really expensive nowadays. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like well, I can give credit to this game. Um, you know, hundred percenting this game, you get to play as Luigi, Super Mario sixty four. You at least get to go on top of the castle and get like a bunch of one ups from uh, Yoshi. The Yash the Yasher. Yash Meister. Yeah. And then um That's the ticket. Yummy. I wonder what they taste like, honey? Uh but yeah, and then in uh sixty four you get like all the, the one ups and you get to hang out with Yoshi. Sunshine, you get a postcard saying have a good vacation. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's a rip off. Yeah, right. I like... collected a buttload of blue coins. Give me something different. <laughs> I mean, 64 and 64 and Sunshine really just looked at Luigi and said, <laughs> loser. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, have an L on your head. Yeah. To be fair with Sunshine, the L for uh, Luigi stands for loser. The GameCube had a, a Luigi game made for him, so maybe he was off doing doing that. Probably. And there, the it does, there is a reference to EGAD from... Yeah, uh, the mansion games, so maybe. Oh yeah, because I think uh, the flood was made by him, right? Well, he couldn't. Have, wait, he couldn't have been off doing the the mansion games because uh, he he's saving Mario in that game, and then Mario's if he's oh, saving Mario. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We're nerds. We overthink stuff. We just go on tangents. There's a hungry loomer somewhere that we gotta. Yeah, same night. And by we, I mean you. This is, this is your playthrough. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Like the gravity in this game must have been a nightmare to program. It's like it's you really have to game. like think of a lot of things. Yeah. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. Oh wow, he had a he split into like five different pieces there. Yeah, well, because like 
yeah, with all the, the 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 gravity and the planet toys and stuff, it's like you can't just plan for like a a game on a two D or three D access. You gotta plan for like the entire atmosphere, right? Like, everything around it. I'm trying to make it look interesting. Like all these to feed that Luma. And like, I can't even tell any difference between this release and the original Wii release. Because even though it was on the Wii, it was probably one of the best looking games on the Wii. Yeah. Because yeah, the Wii, sure. yeah, the Wii didn't have an HD output, so it's always cool to see some of the best looking games on the console. I like how if you just don't do this one, it just makes you not. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I missed it thing. Oh wait, what was that gonna? What was that gonna take you to? I think to the hungry little man. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh well. well. John messed it up. Yep. Yay. Oh wait, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, it would be me there. Oh well. Looks like a pill or something from Dr. Right. Mario. Here you go. Oh wait, that's what the hungry people was there. Wait, what did you just... Wait, did that, not, somewhere. Did that not take the hungry people? Oh, it just takes you back here. Okay. So I can go so, back and do that thing? Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I'm just confused. So now I can right. redo this, yep. this one right here. And then this, I assume this one takes you to the hungry room. Oh, wow. It's very weird that how they set that up, but okay. That's it a is. Yoshi egg. Wow. That's all you get for this game. Yeah. It's the only Yoshi. We, we have Yoshi on a limited contract, okay? <laughs> also, he's like, there's like a Yoshi face. And that's about it. That's, that's like, Oh, yeah. I think I know why they did that. Because you need a certain amount of star bits to feed him. Yeah. So it's like if you don't have enough, the stars are there to kind of bring you back to other places. I like what he said. He starts off by saying more, even though you haven't fed him anything yet. A new planet was born. It's a pear tree. <laughs> I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. Yeah. That kid was taking a, taking a piss in that bush. Keyword was. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang. Well, dang. His life just ended. Yeah, he's trapped behind boxes. He can't get you. Watch out. It's gonna come back and hit you. So just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> you still lost health. <laughs> I was gonna laugh if you touched that other plan on your way out. <laughs> oh, you thought. Oh, okay. I wonder how much Charles Martinet gets paid per game to voice Mario. Hopefully a lot. Well, it's like, it. most of the time he's just making little noises, right? He's like, uh, what do you want me to do for this take? Just go, just make some grunts and stuff. Ow! We have! Ow! Okay, cool. Uh, that's a, that's a million dollars in your paycheck. Sweet! That's probably it, too. Which... Yeah. And then he says the tile, probably. Super Mario does your taxes. Have you guys ever played Skyrim? No. Yes, I love that game. It's great. I've never uh, played it. Do you know the, the played, dragon? I haven't uh, played in a while. Do you know the dragon Parthenax, the guy next to Greybeards? Yeah. Um, that's voiced by Charles Martinet. Really? Yeah. So he's branching out. Mm-hmm. He's, he's got some range on him. Yeah, like, look up uh, Charles Martinet Skyrim and like. Like, his voice in that is just insane. It's great. It's like, you would have never guessed, you know? Dang. Good for you, Charles. Getting some paydays in your belt. And by payday, I don't mean the, uh, the caramel bar top of peanuts. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Easy there, John. No, I can't do that. It's done. Yeehaw! Run, cowboy! Wee hoo! Wee hoo! I like how no matter where you are, whenever you spin, they just automatically spin as well. Yeah, I do. I, I like that the, that your spin kind of interacts with other things. Oh wow, that that was a thick pane of glass that you just smacked your face into. Might be just a little long jump. Yeah, I, I felt like I was gonna fall off for some reason. I don't yeah. know why. Nah, you can't. There's no way you can fall. This is like endless gravity. If you do a long jump, through, if you do a long jump through the center, I bet it's gonna like be weird. Okay, let's see. Well, I want to do a, a long jump. Okay. Maybe you could get the start that way. Yeah, maybe. That's how I got it. Yeah. Oh wow! You don't even need the pull start. Speedrun stress. Screw you, game. Well, that's a great place to leave it off with John cheating physics there. Yep. So thank you for joining us in this intergalactic adventure. We have more planned in the future, but until next time. Uh, I've been Trent. I've been Captain Fireman. I'm Jimmy. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye.